Welcome to Micah Wheel. Today I want to explain like a specific problem which happens here quite often in Australia when we retrofit aluminium wheels to the existing axles previously fitted with steel wheels. Because the aluminium backing plate is thicker than the steel backing plate and when we put the duals on we actually run out of stud. The stud here is too short. And then when you put on the, the nut you actually don't have a safe engagement between the nut and the stud. So in order to overcome this problem, we have a specific set of wheels with a bigger bolt hole diameter here, which is a 32.5 and we actually operate with a sleeve nut. And the sleeve nut has a deep thread going right through and the sleeve nut will engage all the way through. We will now show you how to fit a wheel like that. So we've got the inner wheel already in position and as you can see here the studs they're not protruding that much and we're actually using a 32.5 bolt hole in this rim. So it's actually more important than ever to use those guide pins from Centromatic to actually line up the, the two wheels perfectly so that the sleeve nut doesn't bottom out on the second, on the inner wheel. Let me show you that. So here's the, here's our wheel. I did not put this over the we put it onto the hub, we sent it out nicely, and now we've got a sleeve nut here that needs to go all the way in without bottoming out on the inner wheel. So it's now I can see it engaged nicely, it's in a good position. I'm gonna get the second one on as well. And if two are in, then I'm pretty sure that the rest will also line up nicely. Yep, so this one is in as well. We put on the other ones a couple of rotations. We have a good engagement with the street. We can now remove our guide pin. And we can go and tighten them evenly. So they're all in position now and all we need to do now we need to torque as per the manufacturer's specifications and this again BPW axle 630 newton meter and then we have a really safe engagement. So because this is a free spinning axle I can't really demonstrate the torquing but after the torquing we're gonna put those cap seals on and that will prevent water and dirt enter here and gives a really nice finishing. So before you get started with the retrofit mat, make sure you've got the right rim with the right bolt hole. Here in the usual case we work with a 32.5 millimeter bolt hole. And this is where the sleeve nut engages. We have a long sleeve nut for a dual fitment and this one here, a short sleeve nut, that's for your steering axle. So we've got different sizes here. Bimich is our manufacturer. We are their agent. You can purchase this product from us. So Bimich has got like an M22, this is the metric version with an M22 thread. But here we've got like a BSF thread. This is a specific thread for Scania trucks. This is the long, this is the short one, and this is the long version. And here we've got an M20, a metric um, sleeve nut, short and long. Um, and these are used for buses and for light trucks in, um, in the ISO fitment. And here we've got three examples of high quality standard wheel nuts. This is the metric M22 and this is the 
This is the specific wheel nut for Scania trucks in BSF and this is a specific wheel nut for Volvos in UNF. These have been all for old Volvo trucks. So in whatever you do, when you put sleeve nuts, purchase a quality product. Um, we've got other examples here for instance. Um, look at this here, it's a chrome nut. This is totally the wrong coating material. The washer is completely seized on. The nut is corroded. Um, I think it's something really not usable for a truck and for a commercial vehicle. So the exact talking procedure you can see on our other video on the on wheel and security. But now this one here is torqued or there's end caps to prevent water flowing into the into the recess here. And we've got the um, red cat um, re wheel retainers on. I think this is a proper retrofitment of an aluminium wheel to an, uh, to an axle um, previously made for steel wheels.